Okay, I had to get the selfie stick out. Why? Because these are the 13 puzzles that I completed during the month of July. In this video, I am going to be showing you the 13 puzzles that I completed during the month of July. Now, it's August 4th as of the time I'm creating this video, and I've done four videos for August already, but those will come at the beginning of next month. So early September, you should see that wrap up. But this one here is for these puzzles, which I can't get them all in a screenshot because there's quite a few. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the box and then I will show a picture of the completed puzzle while I discuss the puzzles with you. Now, the other thing I wanted to say is that there's going to be another puzzle video coming right up, and that video will be a haul video. The last haul video I did was in April, so any puzzles I got during May, June, or July are gonna be in that video, and that will include some of these that we're gonna talk about now. So in no particular order, we're going to start with this Cloudberries puzzle. It's called Flowers. And like I said, I'm going to have the image on the screen. Now, I, I felt like this was going to be a huge challenge because of how dark it is. It, it doesn't look dark in the puzzle itself, on the box, or in the actual pieces. But I didn't really struggle with it. I found it to be a breeze. I basically work a puzzle every two days because I diamond paint, I cross stitch, I read, I review. But this one I thought was going to take me a few days, but I was able to knock this one out rather quickly. Loved it. Now I'm going to show you this puzzle, but I don't have the box anymore because I made a mistake and the box got wet, but it was fine because I wasn't really happy with the puzzle anyway. And it was a puzzle bug puzzle called Cape Hoke Fish Huts. And I am going to be putting the picture up. I loved this puzzle. This puzzle ended up having special meaning to, for me. And the reason why this puzzle had meaning for me is because when a, somebody in one of the groups I'm on Facebook, she saw this puzzle and she said, that's where I'm from. I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. So I wanted to give her my puzzle, but because I the box got wet, I ended up finding the a brand new unopened puzzle on eBay that I was able to gift to her so that she can have memories. And she even shared some pictures of these actual beach huts. So I, I had to insert this. There's no way I could leave that out. Now, this is one of the two, yes, one of the two Ibu puzzles I'm going to be showing you. Ibu has become pretty much my favorite puzzle brand. I have maybe 35 or more of these puzzles. This one here is called Bookstore Astronomer, and I loved this puzzle. What I loved about this puzzle is the fact that there were people in it, there were stars, there were planets, there were books. And so there was enough definition and enough texture that made putting this puzzle together a breeze. And then it's only 500 pieces. Now the majority of puzzles I do are basically 1000 piece puzzles, but I was able to really enjoy this one and I'm so glad that I did it. And it's a, definitely a keeper. Most of my puzzles are gonna be keepers. Now, I did two buffalo puzzles, and this is one of them. It's called Amy Stewart's Travel Trinkets. Now, I'm holding the box in my hand, and I'm popping up the image. And this puzzle is a collage puzzle. Now, let's talk for a brief moment about my favorite jigsaw puzzle artists or creators. They would be Amy Stewart, Charles Wysocki, Colin Thompson, Shelley Davies, David McLean is jumping up there. You all see a David McLean puzzle, maybe a few David McLean puzzles in this video, at least a couple. Well, not only do I enjoy those puzzle artists, but I also enjoy collage puzzles. Collage puzzles to me, for some reason, go together so much easier than 
what others might consider to be an easy puzzle. Now, with this puzzle, as you can see, as the image shows on the screen, there were all 50 states in this puzzle. And working with this puzzle, all I did was look for that particular state. If I was, say, looking for New Jersey, I would grab a hold of the pieces that went with New Jersey. If I was, say, looking for Atlanta, I would grab those pieces. So this one went together quite well. My other Buffalo puzzle, I think, yeah, this is the only other Buffalo puzzle I did in July. This is a 1,000 piece puzzle, just like the Amy Stewart was 1,000 pieces. And this one is called Virginia's Nest. Now, I thought this puzzle was going to be easy and I am actually maybe even going to do some close-ups in this video of these puzzles. Sorry, just dropping a phone call. I might do some close-ups of some of these puzzles to show you where some of the challenges were. So when you look at this puzzle, you'll see there's a lot of white in the houses or the buildings. And then there's like a grayish blue on the sides of two of the buildings. And then there's a lot of green. So this one was a bit more of a challenge than I expected. Now, remember I said that I did two Ibu puzzles. Well, the other one I did. Now, this is gonna show up in my uh, haul video when I show what puzzles I bought in May, June, and July. And actually, yeah, even in August, because I got a couple puzzles in today. So since May, I bought several puzzles, and you'll see that in the video shortly. This was one of them. I saw this on Facebook. I bought it, and I did it the day after it came in. I just had to do it. You see, I'm going to drop the puzzle and put up the jigsaw puzzle as it was completed. This was not as challenging as you might imagine it would be. And the reason why is because obviously you have the edge pieces. And then the first row that went with the edge pieces all had a similar texture. And they only appear on that second row. So I got that one done. And then I noticed the direction of the triangles because it's called triangle patterns of 500 piece puzzle. I noticed the direction of the triangles, so working with the direction of the triangles made this one a lot of fun. Now, you're going to see uh, these next two puzzles in the haul video, and this one is called The Queen, okay? And here is the image, the puzzle box itself, and now I'll put up the image. Now, with this puzzle, I thought, Oh my goodness, it's going to be hard. All this turquoise and green, the red in the dress, the brown in the skin, the tan in the skin. Another super satisfying, lovely, lovely, lovely puzzle. Now, this puzzle and the next one I'm going to show you are a, a, from a group of three puzzles that I received from Gamaliel, who is the owner of Unified Pieces, and I was sent these puzzles for review. So I've, like I said, I've got two done. I have a third one. You'll see that in the haul video. I'll be doing that shortly. Now, back to the other puzzle from Unified Pieces. Okay, look at that. It's called Color Bliss. My goodness gracious, do I love this puzzle. This is one that I will do many times, I'm sure, over the years. I could never let this puzzle go. It was so gratifying. It's a gradient puzzle, but with a pattern. So it's called Color Bliss, but it, the pattern was very easy to identify. And because of the ease of identifying the pattern and the color, and I'm going to tell you a secret. How am I doing these gradient puzzles rather easily? There's a an app called I Love Hue, H-U-E. When you play that game, you're training your eyes to identify the different gradients. And the more I play that game, the better I get at these types of puzzles. Now, remember I said I love David McLean. I think you're going to see two of his in this video. And you'll see more of his when I do my 
wrap up for September because I've already done one of his. This is called the Beachside Lighthouse. Now, if you don't already know, lighthouses are my favorite image to appear in any landscape puzzle or diamond painting. And I will be checking Etsy to see if I can find any lighthouse cross stitch patterns. And that's how much I enjoy lighthouses. This was sent to me by my friend Hope. It's 550 pieces. I think it's from Vermont Puzzle Company, but it's one of David McLean's and it was great. It looks rather dark, but it was a breeze to put together. I'm sure this is another David McLean. Yes, it is. I had to just look for his signature down there. This is called My Yellow Beach House. This puzzle, again, has a lighthouse. Why did I do two puzzles back to back with lighthouses? This 500 piece puzzle, well, because my friend Hope sent me this once she learned how much I love lighthouses. In fact, I have more puzzles coming in that have lighthouses, but they're not here yet. Um, but anyway, this was beautiful. The yellow was easy. There was so many different things happening in this picture, in this puzzle that made it very, very enjoyable. I love sky. I love, love, love working sky and jigsaw puzzles. And so I attacked that first and then I went with the rest of it and loved it. Now, remember I said I love gradients, right? And I'm playing this game called I Love Hue. And by playing I Love Hue, Hope sent me this Springbok 500 piece puzzle called, what is this one called? Powder Coated Colors. This one, I think three and a half hours if I look at my app, I use now the Puzzle Tracker app. Didn't take long at all, just a few hours because all you're doing is the gradient of color. You're starting with the green. I think I started with the green. Yes, I started with the greens and then I went from there. After I got to the yellows, because of the orange and red and pink being kind of similar, I did jump over to do the purple and then I went back and got the other parts of it done. This one here is the first of four of the element series by Cobble Hill, the artist is Shelly Davies. Now I've done Shelly Davies uh, rainbow series, which were seven jigsaw puzzles, red, green, pink, blue, purple, yellow. I think that's it. But I also have black and white and the, the rainbow gradient puzzle. And the other of these the other ones in this group. And um, maybe I'll throw up a picture of the four puzzles that make up this series. Now, I went to this one first because of the vibrant, vibrancy of it and the vivacity of it. And I thought, oh, this is gonna be great. Well, let me tell you, this was one of the harder puzzles I've done this year. Why? Because there are dozens and dozens of cases of words, words that are very, very, very small considering the sizes of the pieces. And I had to place everything just so. And if you watch the video, you'll see that I loved it. Of course I loved it because it's a challenge and I don't shy away from challenges. So I loved it, but this was hard. And I, I'm so glad I started with this because when you look at the, I think they're in the poster that comes with this, fire is the first of the elements project. Then we have uh, earth, water, and air. So I picked the right puzzle to start with in this element series. So earth is next. And like I said, I'll try to include a screenshot of the whole series in case you're interested. The last puzzle that I wasn't going to include, but somebody says it counts, Robin, is this dinosaur 100 piece puzzle that I did with my grandson, Demetrius. Demetrius is four years old. Now, let me tell you, he started off with floor puzzles, 24 pieces, moved up to 48 pieces. 
Then when his father found out that I was doing these Ravensburger 100 piece puzzles with him, guess what? He recently completed a 300 piece puzzle. We are talking about a four year old. So yesterday when I babysat, he said, Nana, how many pieces is that puzzle you're doing? I said, it's 1,000. He says, I have 1,000. I'm like, no way. So when his parents came to pick him up, I'm like, Michi said he has 1,000 piece puzzles. Well, he has four 300 piece puzzles and one 500 piece puzzle. Can I say this one more time? He's four years old. Yes, indeed, he is. So I did this with him. I loved it. I'm going to include it in my count of 13. And that's what you're having in this particular video. 13 puzzles completed during the month of July. August, I hope to show you something really good, which is what I'm going to talk about briefly here. Casual Puzzlers. If you check out that YouTube channel, she has a video called 30 Puzzles in 30 Days. Now, she has three things in her challenge, if I'm not mistaken. One is 30 Puzzles in 30 Days. Two is a minimum of 9,000 pieces. And three is a no-buy. Okay. Of the three... 9,000 pieces I'm going to surpass because most of my puzzles are 1,000 pieces. Number two, 30 puzzles in 30 days. Yes, I'm working at it. Got four done already. They're right there. You want a sneak preview? Let me see if I can get them without hitting the camera. So I've already done four puzzles for August, and today is August 4th. Then her third challenge is a no-buy. Just since seeing her video, I think I have bought, purchased six or seven, maybe even 10 puzzles. So I cannot ascribe to the no buy, but definitely I'm trying the 30 puzzles for 30 days. So that is my August goal that when I come to you early September, we will see how I do. I have, if I can keep the momentum up, I will, but if I can't, I'm not going to stress because I am also trying to do a diamond painting during the month of August, which is for the Great Escape event, which is by Craft and Journey and Mickey Sunshine Creates, two other YouTube channels I follow. I'm also doing a Caterpillar Club cross stitch or stitch along, and it releases every 21st or 22nd of the month. So I've already done June's version in July, I mean, June's part and July's part, and now I'm waiting for August part, and then I will be doing that. Then I bought another stitch along pattern. And once that comes out monthly, I'll be doing that. So if, oh, and I guess I might as well mention it. I'll mention it again in another video. I also have a goal of reading two books a day. And I think I'm reading book seven. I, I mean, at, at least, no, today is the eighth. So I think I'm on book eight. No, excuse me. Today's the fourth, which means I need to have eight books. That's what I'm trying to say. So if I'm not mistaken, I am definitely, I'm just checking my spreadsheet. Uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm on my ninth book. So today is August 4th, and I am about 80 eight percent done with my ninth book but i decided to pause that book for a minute make this video and while it uploads i can complete that book so there you have it i am so happy to have shared this with you and i look forward to talking to you some more about my puzzle fun my diamond painting fun my cross stitching my reading my reviewing and just to say my book reviews will be back on this channel. You're going to see them again soon. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.